Hey, Peter, welcome back to <laughs> Call Me Data. How's it going? <laughs> hey, David, how are you? Welcome I'm back good. this week. And um, yeah, excited. But, you know, as always, I have to comment on the the shirt. It's it's not an Aloha shirt, David. I am deeply troubled by this. you got it a sushi not. shirt. It is a sushi shirt. Uh, it's got sushi going all down the side. Uh, I so love it. Trying to, hopefully it doesn't make you think too much about dinner while we're, uh, while we're talking I'm today. Almost- um, I, I always generally have two things in my mind to kill it and dinner. So I think we're good. I got my coffee. <laughs> I'm ready to go. So yes, uh, you are. it's a it's a new a new day, a new era uh for the Call Me Data podcast, right? It is. This is the first one that we're actually recording uh and not live anymore, though they will be released at the same time as the live ones are. We're now going to be global. Yeah, we're gonna be published on every single major podcast provider in the universe. That's impressive. Yeah, so let's take a minute because uh, hopefully that our going live on these podcast platforms also means that there will be some folks who haven't listened to us on LinkedIn Live and who are now joining us on the podcast platform. So, uh, Peter, introduce yourself and then I'll do the same. So, yeah, no, for those that are joining, hopefully for the first time, I mean, if you look back, you'll see there's quite a few other additions from the live out there. But, you know, we want to reintroduce ourselves just the new kickoff with the new platform. Um, so. Peter Memon, for those who never met or spoke to me before, uh, my history is I've worked in finance for over 30 plus years. Worked at most of the big banks. I've always been in engineering type roles. Uh, I spent a lot of decades designing trading systems for, for big banks, global trading systems. And I think I pivoted probably about 15 years ago to analytics and big data, and that's where I've been since. Been playing with analytics for a very long time. I love this stuff, always have. You know, I've been passionate about it and been passionate about big data for as long as I can possibly remember since I probably got out of college. So yeah, that's 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 basically my story in 30 seconds. But you know, David, off to you. Yeah, so obviously I'm David Gleason and uh together with Peter, I'm one of the co-founders of All In on Data. I have a similar background to Peter's, but not identical. So I spent uh, almost 20 years in consulting, and then I moved to Wall Street and uh, worked at a variety of large global banks, primarily as a chief data and analytics officer. So I had responsible responsibility for everything from data strategy to data governance and management to building and operating data platforms yep. and running analytics teams, including the use of AI. So uh, Peter and I came together and formed All In on Data uh, Probably a little over a year ago now, I think, really, when we first got yeah. the ball rolling. Yeah, and... probably. I think it's been about that long. Yeah. And I think we, uh, you know, David and I are former colleagues. That's how we met, you know, for many years ago, uh, working at one of the large banks. And, you know, we we subsequently reconnected. And I think we were at that juncture in our careers. We decided that it's time to embark on something new and different. And we both have this unique complementary set of skills in, in, at a time. And I was explaining this to somebody earlier. If you could have designed a time to do this with our skills and where we are in our careers, you couldn't have picked a better time. Yeah. Don't you yeah, agree? I agree. Oh, totally. And what's funny about it is the journey we set out on is not the journey we're on now because, you know, things happen along the way, right? Like we had this idea that we were just going to hang up a shingle and do some uh, advisory work and and really, you know, work, but but have a lot of fun doing it. Well, the good news is we're still having a lot of fun and we're still working, but suddenly All In <laughs> yes. On Data has, has become a real company. And uh, I don't know that we yeah. actually expected that. Uh, so we have partners, we have people working with us, we have projects and clients, and um, it's right. taken a different turn than we thought it would, but it's still a blast and a lot of fun. Oh, no, I mean, uh, look, there's not a day I wake up, and I know I can speak for both of us, that I don't look forward to doing what we're doing. I'm always, look, I've always loved technology. I know you have, and I, you and I both are passionate about certain things, photography being another one of them. And, you know, I, I never imagined that I'd be sitting here over a year later doing this. And, well, maybe I did, but it's just very different than I think you and I had envisioned. But it's also, like you said, having a blast. Yeah, it was a natural evolution. And oddly enough, I feel like you and I were a bit ahead of the curve on some of the things that we were talking about when we started this journey. And, you know, we wound up where we are today and things are kind of catching up to where we are. And, you know, it's, it's, it's been, it's, I, I, it's been a hell of a ride. And I got to tell you that and I think this is just the beginning of that ride. 
I do think we caught the curve at the right time because I, you said to me yes. once, Peter, that we've been around a lot. Um, you could probably tell by looking at my uh, lack of hair that I've been around for a while. And I've seen a lot of things come and go. I've seen a lot of technical <laughs> trends and fads. Yeah. We've lived through everything from Agile's going to solve the world to the API revolution to blockchain to Bitcoin and NFTs and you name it, right? I know. Um, oh my. And I think what that's done for us is this we were able to look at this through the lens of all those previous technical waves that we were riding. And we were able to see that this time it's different. And I truly yes. do believe there is something very fundamentally different about our current moment in AI. And it's going to have a big impact on all of us, which is why we're doing what we're doing. <laughs>